It's about actually understanding how do I get to win bigger. Also, the other term that you talk about is conscious networking. Conscious networking, yes. What is that? Well, very simple, Vijay. Unconsciously, we are networking mm -hmm. wherever we are. Right. But that unconscious networking often is limited to that moment. Right? Okay. You go to a wedding, mm. you meet someone, mm. you have a great time, and then it's done. It's done, yeah. Right. Maybe you'll meet that person ever again, maybe not. Even if you exchange the numbers, maybe, yeah. maybe. Even if you say, you know what, Bijay, we should catch up sometime. Yeah. Still, maybe, mm. you won't. In fact, quite likely, a lot mm. of people don't meet up. That's unconscious networking. Unconscious networking is when we are being driven by our programs of judgment of big and small and right and wrong and good and bad. That's mm. unconscious networking. Conscious networking is when we choose, when we, when we choose the beliefs we want, when we, want, when we choose... Um, the kind of network we want to build. When we understand the true value of networking, that networking is not what, what we're doing today. Mm. It's about laying the foundation on which we're going to build a building that's going to take us to the top floor one day. Mm -hmm. right? And in conscious networking, it gets a little philosophical when we talk about that. It's more about honoring the person than who the person is and wanting to connect with that person for your benefit. Mm. Right? And conscious networking is more about giving mm -hmm. than getting. Mm -hmm. Eventually that works in our favor yeah. because that's how life is designed. Yeah. But if I meet you someone mm. and I don't worry about what can I get from you mm. and I just care about, hey, I like this guy. I like yeah. his energy. Mm. How can I contribute in his life? Yeah. And I do that. Mm. The rest is going to be magic mm. because you've just met a person who's being authentic in front of you, mm. who's not being selfish in front of you, who is willing to open his network for you, who's mm. willing to care. Mm. Now, that's going to make us maybe friends, maybe partners, maybe acquaintances, maybe yeah. two people having significant mutual respect for each other. Yeah. And then how we human beings are designed it. If somebody's good to us, we want to be good to them. Yeah. Right? Mm. And from there, you know, every single day, Bijay, we are opening doors for people around us. Mm. Not because they've asked for it, because we want to. Yeah. Because we like them. We like them, yeah. Now, it could be your team here, where, yeah. you, where you like sitting with them, coaching and saying, hey, you know what, this is the mindset of growth. This is the... Or it could be a cousin, it could be a friend. We're helping people every mm. single day. That's how we human beings are designed mm. to function. And that is how we function the best. Mm. So when we're networking consciously, we're really, truly just being true to who we are. Yeah. Building great relationships. That's what we do. Right? In a normal situation. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and the truth is, once people like us, mm. amazing things happen. Mm. You don't know what's going to come out. Right? You just don't know tomorrow what is going to come out. You and I first connected years ago. Yeah. And here we are sitting today. Who would have known? Yeah. Right. And who knows where this is going to go from today to tomorrow to two years, ten years down the line. Absolutely. Right. So it's all about the possibilities. I know this is philosophical, as I said, mm. but it's strategically applicable in business and career. Mm. You have great people around you who care for you. They'll open doors. Business walks in. Mm. Opportunities walks in. Mm. And one of my core belief in networking is the quality of network we have mm. defines the quality of life we live. Mm. Right? It comes back to the Jim Rong conversation again, yeah. Yeah. right? Five people. Yeah. But it truly is, what if it's not five? What if it's 50? Mm. Right? And what if you learned to build great relationships wherever you went? What if? Mm. What if? Mm. How amazing life could be? Mm. What if one day... It was 500. Mm. Yeah. Just imagine. Mm. So what you just explained about conscious networking is flip the script, which means instead of thinking of what I can get out of this person, right. ask what can I offer or how I can serve this person? How can I add value to this person? Um, not exactly true to a large extent. What you're saying mm. is mm. now... It's about actually understanding how do I get to win bigger. Mm. Truly at the deep down, mm. what I'm saying is again about me only. Yeah. Right? Mm. 
Hmm. But let me break it down to a simple example. Let's say I meet you today yeah. and I say, oh, Bijay does podcasts. Oh, he has a show. Oh, if I get if I can get onto his show, amazing, right? That I'll get more views, etc. Hmm. That's one. Hmm. I'm trying to win. And now what's going to happen is it's going to put me under pressure. Hmm. Oh, does Bijay like me? Oh, how do I introduce myself to Bijay? Hmm. Oh, how does this happen? How does that happen? What can I say? What will make Bijay want to invite me? And maybe I'll say something. Maybe you'll be impressed and maybe you'll invite me. Hmm. Cool. Okay, great. Option two, not worrying about Bijay inviting me mm. and being the best version of who I can with Bijay and see if we resonate. Right? And then maybe Bijay will invite me to the podcast. Even in the previous case, there was a maybe. There is still one here. Mm. Maybe it's not just going to end at the podcast because we now connect. Yep. And maybe Bijay is going to give me some valuable advice mm which is just going to happen sometime today. And maybe that one piece of advice is going to change my orbit. Mm. And what if Bijay hadn't given me that advice? Mm. If Bijay won't have liked who I am. Mm. And I'm not saying that I have to conduct myself in a way that Bijay likes me now. No. I just have to be my authentic self. Mm. Because we talk about this in our programs, Bijay that the brain cannot operate, we cannot operate in a state of inconsistency. Mm -hmm. Our thoughts and our behaviors are always aligned. Mm. A lot of people think they're not. Those are our wishes and behaviors that are not aligned. I wish to get healthy and I can't get up early in the morning. Those are wishes and the behaviors. Mm -hmm. But the thoughts that, hey, if I believe that I want Bijay to like me and that is then based upon what if Bijay doesn't like me, mm. right? That's the thought. Now. My behavior, which in this case is the body language, is not going to be natural. Mm. It's not. Yeah. Right. And you'll be able to sense that. You'll be able to see that I'm breaking eye contact, that mm. I'm sitting uncomfortably, and then yeah. <clears throat> that I'm doing, and then yeah. I'm. You're thinking maybe looking upwards. Yeah. No. Or I'm laughing too much yeah. on, a, on a joke that you yeah. made, which wasn't really that funny. That funny. Right. <laughs> and you could tell, right? These because I want to impress. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And if I can just be me, hmm. it changes the game, it takes the pressure off. Because there is no strategy in the world that can get us to connect with every person that we meet. Hmm. Because I am only 50% of the equation. Hmm. You're the other 50. What's happening in your world? You're in a good mood. You're not in a good mood. I, I, none of that I can control. Hmm. 